Hi, it's Phil from TeachBlend and today we're going to look at how we can use Microsoft Teams on a mobile device. So this video will be a student perspective on how we can use Microsoft Teams with an iPhone. Now most of the common features in Microsoft Teams on iPhone are available on Android so the video will pretty much cover both aspects. I hope you find it useful. So the first thing to do is to download Microsoft Teams from your mobile device's app store. Once downloaded, you'll see the Microsoft Teams app and you can just press on this to open up. You'll need to enter in your college username, which is typically your college email address, and then also enter your college password. It'll guide you through a few setups and once you've gone through this, you'll see the feed. Now, if we click on the burger menu on the left hand side, this is how you'll change the settings on the app, such as being able to set a status message if you're available or not. You'll also be able to manage your notifications, such as being able to turn off various notifications and also turn off when you're going to be alerted and set quiet hours. A real useful top tip is to turn the notifications off when you're on your desktop device. You'll be also able to go into settings and turn on such things as dark mode and be able to sign out of the device as well. Let's have a quick look at search. In search you'll be able to search for anything in Microsoft Teams. So this could be people, group chats, files, messages and more. So this is a real useful way of being able to navigate quickly around the Microsoft Teams app. The next thing is your feed and in here you'll be able to filter such things as unread messages and more. So this is really useful and it works a little bit like Facebook giving you one aspect to be able to click on everything. The next thing is chat, and in chat you'll be able to message your various teachers and students within your class. So for example here I'm going to write a quick message to my teacher. You'll also be able to, if enabled, have video conferencing, attach files and more using the chat app within the mobile device. The next thing to look at is the teams themselves. And in Teams, this is essentially where all your classrooms will be listed. Your teacher will normally have added you to your Teams and you'll see them listed here. You can also use a Team join code to access the team if you haven't been added to them. The next thing to do is to press on the Teams and you'll see all of the channels in that team. You may also see some private channels as well you are a part of. I'm just going to go into the general channel now and as you can see all of the messages from my teacher are here. I can click show more and reply to these messages and also scroll through this channel to see all of the messages and work that my tutor has given to me. At the top you'll also see files. Here you'll see your class materials that your tutor has given to you. So for example presentations and word documents. You may also use more as well where you can access assignments, your class notebook and grades. Just going back into posts now, I'm going to click on one of these files such as the PowerPoint and in here you'll see it opens up nicely so I can view the PowerPoint on my mobile device on what my teacher has given to me. I can as well open up Word documents and more and I might also be able to edit these documents if my tutor has given me access. As you can see here an assignment has been given to me. I can click view assignment to view the details of the assignment and upload any work that I need to. I can also edit any writing frames that my teacher has given to me and also upload work from my device. When I upload work I'll have options such as being able to take a photograph, create new files and upload from OneDrive. You'll also see the immersive reader icon which is really useful as it makes the assignment a little bit more accessible. For example, being able to change the text size and background, have it read aloud to you, be able to highlight parts of the text, translate the text and also put line focus on. So it's really useful. To see all your assignments, click the assignments button and in here you'll be able to see all assigned assignments, any that you have got completed and you'll also be able to view feedback for your assignment. So here you can see my tutor has given me feedback, I am able to edit this document and improve my work and hand it in again. As you can see now a live lesson is also taking place and I can use my mobile device to join this. I'll be able to turn video off and mute my mic before entering the meeting. Here again you can see that I'm able to adjust the volume, turn my mic off, turn my video off and also add extra options such as being able to share my screen and turn on the live captions. So this is really useful as I can use my mobile device to engage in live lessons. 
Lessons and meetings are also available by clicking your calendar and in here you'll see a breakdown of any assignments and lessons that are taking place. You're also able to add your own events into your calendar to keep yourself organized. The last thing to look at is also the little draw menu. Here you'll be able to access more information such as your files and calls. You can as well edit your home screen by selecting various options that you want to be displayed at the bottom. So you can choose which ones you most commonly access. I hope you found this guide useful. Please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. Thank you.